Did you know that secret tests were carried out on Texans in the 80s? Intriguing, isn't it? Let's unravel this mystery together. Our journey begins with Project 112, a series of biological and chemical warfare tests conducted by the US Department of Defense. These tests, which took place from 1962 through to 1973, involved spraying simulated agents over ships and land areas in Texas, Hawaii, Alaska, and several other locations. The objective? To study the effects of biological and chemical weapons on military personnel, equipment, and operations. Imagine waking up to a foggy morning, only to realize it's not fog, but a veil of potentially hazardous simulated agents. Next up, let's dive into Operation Ranch Hand, an operation that was as grand in scale as it was in controversy. During the Vietnam War, this aerial herbicide program saw the US Air Force spraying millions of gallons of Agent Orange and other herbicides over forests and crops in Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia. But the reach of this operation wasn't limited to foreign lands. Portions of Texas and other states that housed US military bases were also subjected to this herbicide assault. The aim was to destroy enemy cover and food crops. However, the collateral damage was severe environmental damage and health problems for millions of people, including US veterans. Finally, we arrive at the human radiation experiments. A series of experiments that saw the US government exposing thousands of people to ionizing radiation, often without their knowledge or consent. These experiments were conducted from the 1940s to the 1970s and involved injecting, ingesting or inhaling radioactive materials or exposing people to external sources of radiation. Some of these experiments took place in Texas at the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston, where pregnant women were given radioactive iron, and at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas, where cancer patients were given radioactive plutonium. So, there you have it. A peek into the secretive and somewhat darker side of history. A time when Texans, along with many others, were unwitting participants in a series of experiments. From biological and chemical warfare tests to exposure to radioactive materials, the individuals involved faced potential harm, often without their knowledge or consent. It's a chilling reminder of the lengths to which government entities can go in the name of research and defense. Remember, history, while fascinating, is often layered with secrets and untold stories. Unraveling them helps us understand our past better and hopefully guides us to a more ethical future.